Hi guys, it's Ginger. I'm here with a review. Um, this time, I hope I can fit this whole thing in here. This time it is a review for the Channel Master DVR Plus. So let me tell you a little bit about this. It says it right here, TV Antenna DVR. Um, several months ago, I decided to, well, for a while, I've hated having to pay for satellite or cable television. So, um, several months back, August, September, something like that, I bought some of those window antennas that you can just stick in your window to test them out. Well, I liked the results that I got, so I decided to go and buy um, one of the antennas that you put outside that has a wider range. Um, and I'll insert a picture of what my antenna looks like. Plus, as I'm describing this product, I'll insert some video clips of uh, my setup that I have in some uh, demos of uh, how it works. So I decided to get that outdoor antenna. And right around the time that I decided to get the outdoor antenna, um, my uh, satellite receiver died. So like this is as good a time as any. I will also have um, a link to the antenna that I have. I'll have it listed down below. And I'll have a link to this DVR as well. So having uh, not having a DVR in, you know, not having a satellite receiver anymore, I didn't have a DVR anymore. And that was the one thing that I did miss was being able to record programs when I'm not home or um, being able to pause television or rewind live television and things like that. So um, I did some research and I found this one by Channel Master. Um, it's the only one that I could that I could find on the market that is subscription free because I didn't want to buy a TiVo. The whole deal about having an outdoor antenna is I didn't want to spend any more damn money. <laughs> so I have that outdoor antenna. I have some streaming services like Netflix, Amazon Fire TV, Sling TV, things like that but I wanted to be able to record stuff off of the TV antenna. So I found this. Did research for it. It's the only one that I could find where you didn't have to pay a subscription to record. You know, like TiVo. Um, I've never understood TiVo. You know, uh, I never understood paying money per view. For uh, TiVo, from what I understand. So, um, like I said, this is the only one that I could find on the market you didn't have to pay a subscription for. It is about $350, but that's a one time price. Then you don't have to worry about it again. Um, I got this as a Christmas present. This is something that I've been looking into buying but hadn't bought yet, and got it as a Christmas present. So I've been using it now for a month. Yeah, I've been a little over a month. I really enjoy this. Now, if you look here on the side, and also I'll have, um, I'll insert some footage that I took of this. The DVR itself is only from top to bottom is only a half inch thick. So it's really small. And I also have a clip of my iPad, which is a fairly old iPad. It was like the second version that came out. So it's a large iPad. Um, I have some footage of me sitting the iPad on top of this uh, receiver and showing that it's only a little bit bigger than the largest iPad, which is very good. It's very light, it's very small, it doesn't take up a lot of space. Here's what comes in the box. You get the receiver itself, then you get a USB Wi-Fi adapter, because if you want to be able to um, use the uh, menu feature on this, you have to have a Wi-Fi connection. And then 
you can also separately buy a um, external hard drive so that you can hold more footage. Internally it has the capability to record up to two hours in HD or six hours in standard um, and to pause TV for 15 minutes and can do a single recording. Now if you buy a external hard drive which you would have to buy separately which is what I did. I bought a one terabyte external hard drive then you have uh, the ability to I can't remember I have tw 120 hours I think it says on my thing or something like that. It says on here unlimited HD and unlimited SD storage. I don't know about all that. I don't know. I've recorded several things. Not a lot. I've probably had at this point six things stored at one time and it only used up 2% of the uh, storage capacity. So, and you can record two shows at the same time. Um, you can pause up to two hours and rewind up to two hours. So that's that's what I was, say, I was saying before. The only thing that I missed was being able to record shows. Um, things like The Good Wife. Um, right now I'm watching American Idol. I like to record The Young and the Restless. Things like that. Um, any sort of other shows that come on like I did, um, what was it? The um, Golden Globes. I recorded the Golden Globes because I didn't have time to watch it as it was um, broadcasting live. So I really, really enjoyed this. Um, it's worked really well. I haven't had any problems with it. Now granted, you are recording over an antenna signal, uh, which is a digital signal, but is still um, subject to the weather, things like that. You know, if the weather is bad outside, you know, the signal is not going to be great. Um, it could cut out, things like that. But that, it doesn't happen with cable television, but it happens with, it happened when I had a satellite television service. I really enjoy this. Haven't had any problems with it. it. When I did my research, it got really good ratings. I bought this off Amazon. I'll have the link for it. Well, I didn't buy it. It was a gift, but <laughs> my parents uh, bought it off of Amazon, the one that I uh, had on my wish list. So they bought it off of Amazon, and uh, then I went to Best Buy and bought a uh, the one terabyte external hard drive. So it seems to be working really well. Another thing that I found I didn't initially realize until probably I had had it for a week. Um, I was scrolling down um, to they had a, a little section in the menu that said Channel Master TV and I was like hmm I wonder what that is. So I clicked it and it wanted you to register the product. And when you registered the product, you would get additional internet channels, if you know what I mean, like app type channels. So it had like ABC News, um, WGN out of Chicago, it had something called Foodie TV, uh, some sports channels, um, a movie channel, some kind of movie channel. Then it also had uh, where you could access Voodoo, Voodoo, Sling TV, YouTube, and Pandora, so, which was which is really handy. Um, the only deal is is that when you switch to an internet uh, app channel, you uh, the receiver goes into standby. So when you're finished with it, you kind of got to turn the receiver back on to go back to the regular channels. Uh, other than that, uh, it, it's not smooth going back and forth between those two, but it's not any big deal. 
Um, but like I said, I haven't had any problems with this. If you are someone who is a cord cutter, um, this would be a great addition. Because I've seen other ones, like there is a TiVo receiver that you can get for uh, the antenna, but you have to pay monthly for it. Then there's another one that I've seen advertised on TV, but you have to pay monthly for it. This is the only one that I've found, that I've found so far. If you know something else, let me know. But this is the only one that I've found so far on the market that you do not have to pay a monthly fee for. So that is exactly what I wanted. It's totally awesome. It does exactly what I want it to do. Um, so check it out. Channel Master DVR Plus. There are a couple of different bundles. Um, you get you also get uh, a channel selector with this, a remote control. There's another bundle where you can get an uh, infrared booster for the uh, channel selector. But you, you have to have it connected to the Wi-Fi to be able to download the channel menu. Um, but I will tell you that when the internet goes down, it doesn't affect the menu at that point. It just may not update it for future shows. Of course, you wouldn't be able to access things like YouTube or Pandora or any of those things that you have to have the internet for. But other than that, this has worked really well. I highly recommend it. Um, so let me know if you have this or one similar to it from Channel Master. Um, don't forget to give this a thumbs up if you enjoy these type of reviews and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already so that you can come back and sit for a spell and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!